Okay, this is Honeycut Toy. We have a Craftsman's Z5400 series. Zero turn. And I believe this is a 46 inch cut. A Kohler motor, 22 horsepower. Uh, the belt is off. So this is a video showing how to install the blade belt. I already have started. This is the old belt. But I said I'll just put it back together to let you see how uh, we, we replaced the belt. All right. Well, the floorboard right here comes up. This screw here is a half inch. I already have it loose. So the whole floor plate comes up. They have access down to, to the belts. So what I normally do to keep from losing my screws, screw the screw back in the hole. Okay, you have to take the belt covers off. They're 10 millimeters. So you take them off. It's three of them. And they get you down to the pulleys on both sides. I'll take the 10, 10 millimeter bolts. There's three bolts. One, two, and there's one on the back side. Take those off and it'll get you to your access to the pulleys. Now, once you remove the old belt, more than likely this spring and it will be the came loose off the tensioner. And it hooks to this clamp here. But I already started putting the new belt on. Now the diagram. I don't have a diagram for it. You have to probably just Google a diagram if you don't have a manual to the to the lawnmower. But anyway, on the bottom there, you see the crankshaft pulley. You have to run that belt to the back, bring it from the back first, and and uh, give you another angle from the back side of the lawnmower. That's the crankshaft pulley. And you hook the belt to the back. Then you pull it to the front. Okay. Now once you get the belt pulled up from the back, you hook it around the idler put it here. It goes from the back from the, to the idler pulley. And you bring it around to this It'll be the right pulley, but it's, it'll be to your left when you're facing the lawnmower. And uh goes around that pulley. And then it comes around to this pulley. Now, to... Okay, let's get out of here. Now this pulley here has a, a guard to keep the belt on, um, and just it supports the belt. So basically the nut here, and there's a screw on it that goes through and the nut fits on top. It's a 15 millimeter, so you can use two wrenches or a socket and a wrench underneath. And it just unscrews enough to raise this up, loosen it enough. Not you don't have to take it all the way off, but loosen it up enough to remove the belt off and under here. And then install the new belt. You basically raise, keep it raised, put the belt on, then bring it down and tighten it back. And now we gotta got to this tension of spring, see how it tightens the belt. That put it in pivots. So that's the tensioner. So now we have to put the belt, the spring on the clamp. So 
So we're going to show you how to do that. And this is where we use the dog leash. All right. And this is where we use the dog leash to hook to that spring. Any kind of hook uh, that you can pull on. You need to have a, have a cord on it where you can pull because it has tension on that spring. It's a strong spring. So we're going to go through here underneath the, the belt. You hook the dog leash onto the spring and you grab the the hook in one hand and whatever you have to do you I'm wrapping it around maybe two times on my hand and you just pull that spring and hook it and then take your dog leash out. Show you one more time. Put the dog leash onto the spring and it, it now the spring is connected it's a it's a square hole and it's a, a long over hole. Goes to the long over hole. Now that square hole is where if you want to put a extension or like a three ratchet or extension and pull that way you can do it without the leash and just get a pull bar and pull it. But I found that one of the easiest ways someone showed me before, just use a dog leash, hook on that spring, hold your just your um connect it here and, and just pull it and unhook and that's how you install that spring attention to spring and you can use it on more lawn mowers it not, don't have to just be this particular craftsman but majority of them will have a spring that keeps that belt tight so once you do that you move your screws or whatever I'm not going to do it I might lose some but you uh, can test the lawnmower out and make sure the belt is on correctly. You check it and make sure it's on all the pulleys. Make sure it's still on the crankshaft pulley in the back. And you start your lawnmower up and test it out. So basically you have to sit on the lawnmower on the seat. Turn the blades on, but I'm, I'm going to... Uh, Push down on the seat and maybe it'll kick on. Okay, I just sat on the seat instead of doing it that way. You'll be able to see if the belt will drop off. Now, you might want to put the cover on for safety purposes. If the belt is not on wrong, it might pop off if it hurts you. But I'm, I'm going to do it anyway, and uh, I'm not advising you to do it this way. Let's see if it works. Basically, you just reverse the procedure of putting all your covers back on. And uh, I didn't say at the beginning, but to get to the to the belts easier, put your put your deck down to one of the lowest um, settings and give you more room to work with. Sorry, I didn't say that from the beginning. So basically, uh, you put all your covers back on, your three screws on each side. And you put your plate back on and put the screw and tighten it down. And that's how you change the belt on the Craftsman Z5400. Zero turn lawnmower.